Hi everyone, welcome back. Now this is going to be the final episode of this main series in Minecraft, but don't worry, I'm still going to be doing Minecraft on this channel, but on the Survival Island series. This is basically a world tour of everything I've done in this world, then that'll be the end of the series. But yeah, had a good run, this has been really great, but now I think it's time to show everything off. So this is a spawn island which was spawned out back in May of last year, you know. Uh, there was like a big tree which I had to chop down, you know, with my bare fist and then I had to swim all the way over there to the mainland. But yeah, you know, then I started a house over there. We'll get to that, but now I'm going to show you this bridge, you know, right here. You know, at first I like, I plan to do a bridge sort of like this. Um, in the first few episodes of this series, like in episode 3 or 4. I can't remember when I did this bridge, but yeah, um, I was originally planning to do it earlier. But yeah, this is a nice little bridge which goes all the way to the spawn island. And uh, yeah, it is very nice, you know. But anyways, let's go all the way over here. Now, what's next? I guess there's this castle right here, you know. Um, this used to all be made of cobblestone for those who have just stumbled across, across you know, across my uh, channel. I don't know what POS means. Yeah, this used to be all cobblestone. Um, and it's basically, um, there's a mob spawner down here, zombie spawner. I was very lucky to find this, you know, at the start. You know, it was like underneath a small hill. And then I decided to put like, you know, um, like a, you know castle over it because you know it's just something to build i had a ton of cobblestone so you know just something to build whilst you know i was bored but yeah that's what this is but yeah um the castle up here as well when chains were added i believe in like the nether update in june decided to add this right here you know and if we go up here you know similar shit with the torches you know there originally wasn't this here there was kind of like a sort of wall here i didn't originally plan to do it you know where you can actually walk on it but you know i did and uh yeah pretty nice view of my land right there all right so now that that's over with let's go you know down to the rest of everything okay go down here so um for those who don't know, um, right around, I think, here, you know, there was, like, sort of a small little, you know, tunnel, like, a staircase down to, um, the base down there, you know, and, uh, that's kind of, you know, where everything started, and then, I think, in, like, episode 9 or 10, they decided to create this. This used to all be made of, um, polished blocks and brick, but they decided to, you know, make out of diamonds, emerald, lapis, and gold and you know decided to keep the crimson and the soul torches and soul lanterns just because you know why not and uh, yeah also got my nice crop farm here the um potatoes and carrots were from the uh, mob spawn and that's how i got those and the beetroots i believe are found from a village these and these uh the melons uh yeah i got them from i think a water and trader or something i think same with the pumpkins I think that found them. Uh, yeah, the animal farms, you know. And this used to be birch fence. This used to be uh, cobblestone. Some of this was actual cobblestone, then some of it was stone brick. Like, around here was stone brick, you know, the pumpkins and the melons. But then I changed it all to stone brick, and then all to emeralds. But yeah, now it's emeralds. I think it looks pretty nice. And uh, yeah, let's go inside right here. Everything's just completely out of order. So yeah, got the nice emerald floor, the nice lapis ceiling. I know, uh, yeah, this used to be spruce, by the way. Uh, this thing used to be here, though. Like, I think, you know, whilst I was doing, like, emerald walls, you know, crafting lanterns, I had spare lanterns, so I just decided to do this. But yeah, um, here's the main shit. Here's the anvil, the grindstone, the crafting table, the, fir the blast furnace, the smoker. The smithing table and here's a furnace room where the walls of furnaces. 
And here is my bedroom. I'm we'll just go sleep right now. Okay. Have a nice way to sleep. And here we we'll chatting table. You know, one episode I spent, you know, building the room but not the enchanting table until like you know the next episode, which I did off camera. Probably shouldn't have done that, but yeah, now I have the enchanting table. And here we have the storage room. You know, very important. Doesn't even have to be a complicated design, just you know. So as you know, I had these, I have these chests right here. I don't know why it was in the floor, I think it used to be chests up there, but it was filling up space, you know, it's had to get these, and then, you know, I had um, extra storage and shit, you know. Yeah, that's kind of how it is now. Alright. Um, yeah, you know, and the dragon head from the end ship. Uh, these two zombie heads, for those who don't know, uh, channeling trident, you know, if you strike anything with it whilst it's thunder and lightning, uh, it strikes lightning to it, so uh, if I, lightning strikes a creeper, use this on it, thunder charge creeper, explode that on a zombie skeleton or even another creeper, and you get their head, so uh, yeah, decide to get these two. Uh, so uh, yeah. You know, my brewing room right here. There used to be a random nether portal here just to like get into the nether. You know, it was before the nether update and it was like, wait, you know, don't enter this until the nether update comes out. So yeah, waited for that. And then here. No, didn't need to do that. Yeah. Very simple design, nether walk farm, you know. I wanted to make this bigger, but that would intervene with the zombie spawner. So yeah, made it this 6x4 size, you know. It's gained pretty decent nether wart. And uh, yeah, there's the nether pole in there. I'll get to things into the nether later, but for now, let's go back up and uh, show you the rest. And you know. So, come back out here. There's this sugarcane farm, you know. I never really had like a proper farm, just, you know, since there was a river right next to me, you know, and technically the ocean as well. I uh, decided to create the sugarcane farm. You know, I think it looks pretty good, you know. Fry a lot of sugarcane. Don't think I really had any room to create like a proper organic sugarcane farm. But that's how it was. Um, there's this sextuple beacon, you know, made out of emeralds. It used to only be one beacon, but then they decided to kill five more to get all six effects. And yeah, you know, this looks pretty decent. There's this brick well. I don't know why I built this. I guess because like you know I had a lot of stone masons in my villager breeder and you know whilst training with them you know I got stone bricks to like level them up not stone bricks got regular bricks so I decided to use them and yeah create this um this right here you know there's a lot of fish in there which I found like a coral reef biome like a luke it's either a lukewarm or a warm ocean whichever has coral reef you know I also found an ocean monument at one point Decided to use those blocks to create this, you know, and thank god they created stairs and slabs for these, and walls for the prism, you know, so it looks pretty sick. Uh, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else, um, uh, the automatic bamboo farm, yeah, that's the thing I created. Uh, I don't know why I created this, I guess I just wanted to have a bamboo farm. I think I was originally looking for brown dye to get, you know, all, uh, pieces of wool, you know, to dye all the sheep. You know, I believe I still have cocoa beans, but what I do also now have is bamboo. So yeah, I created this and uh, yeah, got a bamboo farm. So, yeah, produced well. Though I only didn't even need that much to create like uh, 60 scaffolding. But yeah, in here, I created the bed. I didn't actually record me building off camera. Well, I did, but I lost the footage files. And you know, uh, it's all redstone right there, the white wool. And the wood. And speaking of wood, you may have noticed that, you know, um, like all the trees are gone. I'll get to that in a sec. But yeah, in here, not really much, you know. But here we have all the 16 types of beds right here. Got just a nice little line to, you know, sort of show it off. But yeah, um, that's that. And uh, here, well, you know. It was like late November, you know, after the mock exams, you know, I did, you know, I thought since, you know, I'm back to uploading videos, you know, three week, you know, I have more time. So I thought I decided to go with a project, you know, which included 
this, whatever this is, chisel pluck stone, I think it is. And uh, blue ice, yeah. And it's RJ, random jazz, yeah. And here, here, so at one point, you know, I decided to just chop down the whole forest, you know. None of it left, there's a giant forest behind and the wires are all gone. No trees left, just gone. And uh, yeah, with some of the leaves and a lot of the wood, decided to create this giant tree. And also from the giant tree, decided to create these sort of lanterns, you know. It kind of looks like a lantern, try to do pixel art. You know, a bit better ones to create out of light blocks. There's like resin lamps, there's shroom lights, and glowstone right there. Also got, you know, crimson planks, you know, for some reds, some redstone lamps. Not redstone, redstone blocks. And uh, yeah, got the polished blackstone, the blackstone part, polished blackstone bricks, if I should say, yeah. Alright, what else do we say? Uh, the road. I'm going away in a minute. So, uh, yeah. Uh, basically, also after I killed the Ender Dragon, there was this right here, you know, the Ender Dragon, and you know, in a very recent episode, I think like two episodes ago, I created this, and you know, looks way better, you know, um, this sort of thing for the Ender Dragon egg, you know, it used to be just like a small endstone brick thing, uh, right in front of the house, it's what I was originally happy with, but then over time, I wanted to do something more impressive you could say and yeah there's this um which i'll get to in a minute but first i'm gonna have a sugar cane no final time i'm gonna have is the sugar cane uh, so let's do this right here okay now this has actually been a you know really great world you know really amazing one as well and uh, yeah, I think, you know, first ever episode, you know, got like 90 to 100 views. And um, uh, also, with that same video, uh, in that same month, I got like 90 more subscribers. And you know, it's basically me talking like, you know, the shadows and everything. It's not like I've got thousands of subscribers, but yeah, still got some subscribers. And yeah, it was pretty sick. So, what else? Um, Let's actually show what's off in the nether portal and then the nether. Alright, let's get to that and then I'll get to the cloud, you know, sort of thing in a minute. Alright, so let's go in here. Now, first things off, um, you may see that there's red nether brick right here, you know, the walls are so lanterns and shit. Yeah, it was originally, you know, um, with the sort of lanterns hanging from the giant tree. I wanted to use the crimson. I wanted to use red nether brick instead of the crimson planks, but then I thought crimson planks look better, you know, because it was kind of like pinkish color on the uh, lantern, you know, texture. So, so I scrapped that idea and use red nether brick for this. And uh, yeah, I think it's pretty decent. Also got this smooth stone, like sort of you know road here. That like random dirt thing where there's n and there's also netherrack everywhere. Yeah, that was kind of just to get to the nether fortress and shit where the, wherever that is. I don't know where that is, but yeah. Also got up there to try and battle with piglins and shit. I think like halfway through, you know, getting some achievements and shit of um, the nether update, I actually lost the footage files because I think the battery on my laptop died, so I had to charge it and, you know, um, do it again. But yeah, if we go up here... Originally, I planned to do this sort of staircase sign like this, but then it was like, no, I can't reach all the way down there. So, yeah, just decided to do this for the rest of it, then like this. Oh, yeah, iron golems. And the reason there are iron golems is over here. Because if we go right through here, if we go right through here, ah, you see that there's, you know, the village. Now, as well as this massive villager breeder, you know, there's the desert. There are some cartographers in there which would trade um, glass paints, and if I dig sand and smelt the sand, then craft the glass into glass paints, then I can trade it for an emerald uh, per 11 glass, I think. So, yeah, pretty decent. That's how I got so many emeralds. And also, as well as that, you know, somewhere. Ah, right over there. Yeah. Uh, there's this mending village, I believe is still here. I don't know. Alright, he's still here. So yeah, there was this mending villager. 
didn't really trade with him that much, you know. That, um, you know, things got like mending on this, 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 and this. Well, maybe I actually did more than I thought, you know. Go up to level two from training that much. So yeah. Okay, so now that you've seen this, let's go into the breeder and it is turning night. Okay. Okay, alright. Alright, so going here, as you can see there are a lot of stonemasons because I did a lot of mining, you know, traded with them. There are some farmers, there are some toolsmiths, there are some cartographers. And yeah, overall, just a decent way of, you know, collecting emeralds. There should be 80 villagers in here, you know, for 80 beds. But it, it actually seems like there's a lot less. I don't know if that's me, but yeah, it does kind of seem like it. But anyways, enough with that. Let's go. And um, yeah, go for you. By the way, uh, this village isn't actually far away, you know. The mainland is actually all the way over in the distance across the ocean. Just size make no fall, you know, do it quicker. Is there anything in here? Ah uh, yeah, there's still glass and glass paint and shit, you know. From trading and shit, you know. Ah, uh, that's kinda of sick, but anyways, um let's go back through here and continue with the tour. Alright. So that's the nether in the village. Time to um, go to the end. Actually, there's one more thing before we go to the end, and I need to bring some firework rockets um, before I go there. Because I need a way to get back. But yeah, uh, let's go up to the next big thing, which is I think the final thing around my uh, base. So, uh, Let's go to that. All right. You know, um, I think the next thing I'm gonna show is probably the most difficult thing. You know, kind of done. I think is it? I think it's not. I don't know. Let's just grab. Not even that much. Just. No crap. This. Now, let's sleep and go to next thing which I created. Alright. How's this looking? This looking pretty good, you know? Alright. So let's go up here and let's go around here. And at one point there used to be jack o' lanterns, I think on Halloween. Um, I was like, hey, happy Halloween, and, you know, uh, here's some, like, jack-o'-lanterns and shit, which just randomly placed everywhere and then randomly removed. I think that giant tree, I don't know if that was, like, for Christmas, but just, I just created a giant tree, like, nothing really special. Alright, but, yeah, basically, each wall, the piece of water in, um, you know, uh, this giant tube right here. This is all like individual water blocks, so I didn't like place one at the top and then let it flow down. Individually, I placed each one, you know, had to get like, I think I had 17 or so water buckets and shit. So yeah, it was very hard. And here, you know, custom made cloud, which I created, pretty decent. And yeah, it's the building limit. I heard they're changing it in the ch in the case and close update, like they're increasing it to... 512, 1024, but anyways, let's go to um, X0, Z0, where there's a special uh, thing which I you know, created, well I didn't necessarily create, I mean dog, but yeah, it's this, this 15 by 15 hole which signifies the centre of the world, with a beacon in here, and uh, this beacon is for, you know, to... Like mine faster with haste and shit. And down here is like first layer of bedrock. And yeah, I don't know why I decided to do it. I guess I was just bored, you know, and wanted to do this. But yeah, that's kind of how it was. 
All right, let's go back now. Gonna go back into that same tube. And we're gonna go across the road, which is probably my biggest project ever. You know, my longest project, I could say. Uh, okay, come on, come on, loading, loading, loading. All right, and fly down here. And uh, let's go up here. And uh, yeah, fly across that road, you know, which I always walk on, but I thought, you know, just fly across it and kind of explain what it is. I don't know, maybe, maybe not. Let's just fly across it and explain it whilst flying across it. I think halfway through, you know, I'll slow down, but yeah. So it started off kind of over there, you know, next to my house and everything. Then it kind of went all the way over there and there. And uh, yeah. Kind of looks pretty sick so yeah in some cases it goes down you know there's kind of like a staircase part where you know it's got to go up or down or it's got to turn basically it's um smooth stones and smooth stone slabs with the stone brick slabs at the side yeah that's kind of how it is and uh yeah this how many episodes i think it took like seven eight nine 10 episodes to do this I had to like put in the title and the things to actually talk about you know so every episode just wasn't the same thing you know but yeah this is what I did and uh, yeah I think uh, during this time as well was like you know um, around the time when I hit 150 subscribers as well you know and uh, yeah that's pretty sick I think in July I hit 100, then in October I hit 150. So I'm just guessing here, but shouldn't I hit, you know, 200 this month? Or not, though? Growth has kind of slowed down, but you know, still very grateful for the fact that people have subscribed to me. But yeah, and here there's also a second village. You know, it usually indicates there's a stronghold underneath, and yeah, goes all the way down here. And there was actually a creeper explosion right here, so I had to fix this. And yeah, just, you know, chilling down here. Alright. So now that you know about this, let's go down hither. And uh, yeah, there was a... I always report a nether portal here to kind of, you know, create a road in the nether to get back. But, you know, decided, you know, that... Well, that didn't work, you know. I didn't decide. It just didn't work. But anyways, let's go in. And yeah. So let's go over here for a sec. Um, to kind of explain what's kind of over here. And I don't want to accidentally go through. But yeah. Uh, there was originally dirt everywhere. You know, these tiles I wanted to get rid of. I wanted to clean it up. And I wanted to light everything up. You know. Light everything up. In the 17th episode is when I killed the Ender Dragon. And you know, got a ton of levels. You know, I was able to repair my pickaxe and everything. Yeah, it was all pretty sick. Yeah, I think this looks very nice. And so now let's go over to the road right here. Another road, Josh. How fucking incredible. But anyways, yeah. So, during this time, uh, I started this. And uh, yeah, uh, this was at the point where um, it took actually longer. And the reason for that is... Um, those two weeks, you know, November, uh, fuck off. yeah, uh, those two weeks in November, I had mock exams to do, um, you know, I'm in year 11 right now, you know, I'm going to finish this year, uh, this year, whether, you know, exams are cancelled or not, I'm going to finish them this year, uh, like year 11 this year, and then going to college at one point this year, but yeah, that's how it is. Went with a simple design, you know, had a lot of netherrack and, you know, it's in the end, so I thought, you know, instant brick slabs at the side. But, yeah, uh, took way long, because I had to do my mock exams, I think I only did it every Saturday. You know, it was, I usually did it every Monday and Wednesday, but this time it was every Saturday. So, uh, yeah. Uh, you know, and the reason I built this is because, for those who don't know, 
Where that ends gate where you go for a year, it takes you to the end ship, but also, well, it doesn't take you to the end ship, it takes you to the end islands. You have to find the end ship in the end city. But yeah, basically, um, what I did to look for the end ship and end city, I didn't, you know, go for the end gateway. I basically, you know, bridged to the other side. And over here was around when it was done. And it's here, you can see it's finished. Well, you know, basically, you know, I have access to, you know, an end ship in an end city if I want to, if you want to. If anyone wants to do any of this, you know, you can have access to this. But I never use this, you know. And you may also notice that not really made any chorus plants around here. This is what I use to um to uh, basically you know build the uh, sort of end sort of thing. All right, like sort of end dragon egg sort of monolisk. So yeah, this is kind of what everything has been up to, you know. Um, there was sort of like mini projects which I showed before, you know, in December. And then in January it was like a few more changes and shit. And now, you know, the final episode, the 11th of January 2021. I had a good run. I had a very good run. It lasted, what, eight months? You know? I'm not going to delete this. I'm still going to have it. If I ever want it. You know, want to revisit it. But yeah. This was really great, you know? Back to that. I created a world like this. The fact that, you know, my YouTube channel have actually grown. And the fact that, you know, throughout this time I've been able to do probably the most amount of things I could ever do in Minecraft, you know, on this world. You know, my ability testing. And throughout 2020 and through, you know, a few days of 2021, certainly been, you know, Made everyone's 2020 better, you know, if they want to watch this, and made mine better as well. And certainly, you know, the Spiral Island series will make my 2021 amazing. You know, 2021's been, you know, pretty decent, but, you know, not really much has changed in transition from 2020 to 2021. But still, you know, it could be worse. Anyways, let's go through the portal, and there uh, yeah. You know, just chill. So I'm gonna go outside and end this video off. End this series off. But yeah, uh, I believe I've shown everything. What haven't I shown? Um, yeah, I think I've actually done everything. You know, shown everything I can, every main piece of base. But anyways, I'm gonna end this video off here, lads. Hope you enjoyed this series. Uh, if you want more Minecraft on the channel, uh, go watch my Survival Island series. I'll be posting that every, I believe, uh, Tuesday, Thursday, and maybe instead of Friday, I'll do it Saturday now. Yeah, that's kind of how I'm going to do it. But anyways, I'm going to see you later, lads. Uh, yeah, so 